Hello guys and welcome to some gameplay here on Twisted Steel. We're waiting for a plane, but this is Grand Operations, and uh, we have been sent an NVIDIA GTX RTX 2080 Ti by our sponsor, NVIDIA, for this video. So thank you so much, NVIDIA, for sending me that, and also for sending me a copy of the game. Brilliant. You'll notice we're playing with RTX on and at a smooth 60 plus frames per second here. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm being overrun. Oh my god, oh my god. So yeah, we're playing on a smooth 60 plus frames per second here, you'll notice, and uh, sometimes exceeding that quite a bit. Which is uh, impressive for RTX guys. RTX, if you don't know, is next level, next generation, bleeding edge stuff. Have I got a grenade? To finish those guys off? Oh, we're not using the Gavet, we're using the Karg, I didn't realise. Sometimes, I don't realise what my loadout is using. Look at that. Another half damage, so I won't get the kill, as always. That's just how it works with the sniper in Battlefield 5. Oh my goodness. Okay, looks like we're flying with the Mosquito on Twisted Steel. We're hoping to see some beautiful reflections. What better map to demonstrate RTX on Ultra Graphics than on Twisted Steel with this beautiful river? If we put down a bomb and an explosion reflecting on the water, that's going to be sick. All right, let's take down this dude right here, the Yunkers. Oh my god, guys, there's so much to talk about when it comes to the December patch. What am I doing, Nick? I've got Hispanos. Oh no, I've switched it to the 50 cal, guys. There we go. So, guys, there's so much to talk about because they've nerfed all planes in this game. Uh, well, won't stop me from getting those kills. I'm getting some hits. Okay, okay, okay. Another Yunkers in the sky. Let's take him down. He switched seats. But this is a Mosquito. So I can tank quite a bit of damage from that back seat. And in the December patch, they've nerfed the hell out of the back seats as well. They've nerfed everything to do with planes in the December patch. So the Germans used to be the superior force compared to the British. But now the British are the clear superior force, in my opinion. For example, right, the German BF-109 G6 has been completely nerfed, guys. It's no longer what you want to choose on the German team with the explosive bullets. Do you remember those explosive bullets that just annihilated all things? Yeah, you never want to choose that upgrade path anymore, in my opinion. So, we'll explore that in a later video, but for now, we've got to appreciate these graphics, man, reflecting stuff off of this river. We're playing on Ultra, so we've managed to get a smooth frames per second here of 60 plus on Ultra graphics at 1440p. That's impressive, guys, for bleeding edge tech. Actually, we're at 140 FPS right now. Alright, let's see uh, if we can take down this Stuka. And uh, we didn't need to, we just got him by default. Here we go, here we go. December patch. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got some smoke. We'll talk about what this uh, mosquito's got in a sec. But uh, yeah, we've got some... Uh, some problems right now, guys, because the December patch has completely buffed anti-air guns. You can no longer go head-to-head -head with an anti-air tank or gun. You know? So... Uh, the dynamic has completely changed now with playing gameplay. Like, I'm... Oh, man. What is that? That sounds like it's a... Maybe a BF-109. We've only got half health. I'm assuming he's still turning with me. Yeah, I can hear him. He's somewhere on my left. Turning with me. Yeah, we'll pull back on the throttle with the smoke. I love smoke upgrades. <laughs> oh, I love smoke, guys. It's great. You can only get it on the upgrade path. Oh, he's managed to get on my six again. He's not going to fall for it this time, is he? Yeah, he didn't fall for it, did he? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How do I beat him? How do I beat him, guys?
Alright guys, we've chosen the Spitfire now so that we can actually claim air superiority, yeah? I don't think we can do it with the... With the Mosquito, and we managed to get a lot of hits just now on this... This bad guy over here. He's doing a switch. I can see him on air radar. Gotta love air radar. He's in trouble, boys. He's got no moves against me now. Oh yeah, let's blow it up. If we can... I was hoping to blow him up there with the re reflections on the water. Holy... He went for a high-risk maneuver there and he failed. Poor guy. You know, he's doing what he can. I respect it. Alright, that, my friends, is... That looks like an anti-air tank. Let's bomb him. Vehicle hit 40. Okay. But the problem is, he's going to repair all that damage by the time we get our bombs reloaded. Look at the reload right now. Look at that speed on the reload. It is so slow. We've only done a quarter of the reload so far. They've done that to all payloads in this December patch. Like, on every plane. It's crazy. The only thing that it's not going to take that long to reload for is the primary guns that I'm using right now. Ah, oh, see that? That's the anti-air gun waking up. <laughs> and we found finally reloaded our bombs here. Look at him, he's really trying to get me. I have no idea if those bombs are on target. No, I just missed him to the left. Maybe I can perfect that from high altitude. Oh, he's really hurting me. I'm really uh, being cheeky by being near him. So I guess this is realistic, right? Not realistic, but I guess this is the balance that we want. One could argue this is fair balance. That we can no longer survive versus anti-air. Oh, but guys, I don't want to say that so quickly because right now bombers cannot survive at all. Anti-air almost always will find a way to kill a bomber at the moment. So, uh, yeah, it's not good. But we're flying the Spitfire today. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get a cheeky infantry kill here. Yep, we can still strafe an infantry with this awesome... So you might notice something cool here. We've got increased zoom capability in the cockpit with this patch. Which is really useful for strafe infantry. And it's not just on my Spitfire that you can do this. It's also on uh, every plane, basically. When you're in the cockpit view, you can zoom at 2.5 times, according to the patch notes. It's much nicer, even for anti-air. Or should I say air-to-air? -air. He's jumping. Look at him jump. Yeah, you could do that before the patch, mate, but not now. Oh, whoa, that's a Stuka. Is it? Is that a Stuka on my six right now? I can see him on air radar. Yeah, that's a Stuka. Ah, oh, the Werble Wind, or whatever he's called. Oh, anti-air tank. Get out of here, dude. Look at him trying to get me. I'm so weak against him. I'm not going to give you me as a kill, okay? I'm just not going to do it. We're going to focus the BF-109 here. Forget the Stuka Nick. That BF-109 will kill us after he's killed the enemy bomber. Beautiful. He's smoking up. He's got no moves to lose me now. He might be able to come up with something clever. But the poor guy can't do anything when you're in that position. So let's see if we can take down that Stuka now. Look at that. We can zoom right in. So much better. That's like the one thing that 
is a positive coming out this December patch for pilots. We got him. <laughs> that is satisfying. Like, look at my ammo on the primary gun. I think this is reasonable. But they've made... You know the attrition system where ammo... You know, you run out of ammo really quickly on the ground. Well, it happens in the air as well. Like, I would have run out of ammo very quickly there had I not passed through that resupply. And I've had some dogfights so far where you just run out of all ordnance on board. You know, all ammo of every kind of type. And you're just left sort of in a sticky situation. There's the whirlwind right in there. We managed to get a vehicle hit 53 on the whirlwind with our bombs. We're never going to get the kill. He's just always going to repair. Dice, come on, man. Give me an angle of attack where I can get the kill. By, I don't know, using skill. Give me something, man. Right now, you're giving me nothing. So, yeah, what better map, guys? What I was saying before, what better map to show off? Ultra graphics RTX at 1440p. Than on Twisted Steel. Look at it, man. If we, if we could just kill someone... You know, make something explode under the bridge. That would be epic, because it would reflect all over the water. Can we see my own reflection, maybe? If I go really close to the water. Yeah, look at my reflection! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, let's do that again. Do not leave the combat area, soldier. Let's uh, get back in the combat area. Let's do that again. Let's get closer. Yeah, look at the reflection! Crap. Don't deploy the landing gear. Woohoo! Dice, why is my landing clear deployed? I'm trying to look at the reflection. <laughs> I love these guns on the Spitfire. It's beautiful. All right, let's not waste our ammo. We've almost run out of ammo. Let's kill the Yonkers. We're sniping him at range here. He's quite far away. Oh, see, we've run out of ammo. <laughs> we've run out of ammo, dude. That's cool, though. You never ran out of ammo before the December patch, right? So it, it does have a better feel to it that you can run out of ammo now. You know, a bit more immersive, a bit more realistic. Now, what is that? That's just the Yonkers. The Werblewind. I bet he's still in the... They've got two Yonkers here. And I bet that Werblewind tank is still in the damn bridge getting away with murder. Yeah, look, there he is. Look at him. Oh, no, that's not the Werblewind. Look at our bombs. We always, we, we've learned how to drop our bombs in third person, which is pretty cool. We're going to try and kill this bomber. He's being a bit of a pest. We're not really doing our duty, are we? We're letting them come into our airspace. We should be taking them down. Oh, hello, buddy. We'll take you out. Don't worry about it. We'll clear the airspace. The thing is, guys, <laughs> beautiful. The thing is, the Yonkers is so castrated right now since the December patch. Oh my god, I'll do a video on it at some point. But you've really got to be clever to find a way to dominate with the Yonkers nowadays. I've got some experimenting to do. Oh, we've run out of bombs. We should probably reload it. Look at the reflection of the fire in the water there from the bridge. That's cool. Look at the reflection there. That's nice. Don't know if you can see it. It's impressive that we're flying with RTX on ultra settings. I think. Because, uh... Yeah, it's just cool, right? Alright, let's go get this resupply. Now, what AA gun was just shooting at me? Where are you, buddy? Where are you? I think I see some sort of tank down there on the road to be. Let's do this. 
Yeah, that's the whirlwind. Oh, the bombs are still reloading. <laughs> Dice, please. <laughs> I beg you, Dice. Please, dude. All right, let's take this. AA tank, man. Where are you, dude? He's low. He is low. Oh, I missed. I missed. Woo! We got an enemy hit, though. We, we killed someone. All right. With our zoom, we should be able to strafe infantry much easier now, right? Oh, look at that big tank there. Oh, the reload. <laughs> I can't get used to it. Oh, December patch. Piss off, man. <laughs> Stupid patch. All right, let's uh, strafe some infantry. And then we'll drop... We've reloaded it now, so we can drop our bombs once we get there. We found a kill. I don't know how much damage we did to the armor, though. We want to kill the tank. That's a friendly. Yeah, that's just a friendly. Oh, let's follow him to the water to see the explosion. We need to get ahead of him. We really need to get ahead of him and try and see him in the in the water. Nah, I don't know what my plan was, but it didn't work. I didn't really see much. It was cool to look at, of course. All right, we're taking fire from a Werble wind tank or something or other. Let's do a high altitude drop. We just hit a vehicle hit 42 at high altitude without an aiming reticule, guys. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm quite pleased with that. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh, yes. High altitude, out of range, bombing on tanks. That's what I want to do. <laughs> That's going to be sick if we can pull that off. 42, if we could do it again. Let's try it again. Oh, we can't. We're reloading. Ah, oh, we're reloading. Dice, why do you hate me? Look at the bullets ricochet. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but my uh, tracer bullets could be seen ricocheting off that tank. Wow, something just happened. Should we go for this tank here? We should find the Werberwind, really. Well, I guess we go for this guy. Oh, that feels so good. Enemy hit. I did a lot of enemy hit there. That was on target, right? And now we're taking damage from the Werble. We'll reload these bombs, see if we can hurt him. He's quite a thorn in my side, this Werble guy. Two tanks on the right, two tanks on the left. I just can't control this problem. That's a lot of guys on B. Let's quickly try and strafe B. I don't know. I don't think you can multi-kill infantry anymore with any of the fighter kits. Which kind of sucks, right? Oh, he took cover. Clever dude. Let's figure out where this Werble guy is. Yep, there he is. He's uh, right at the crossroad after the bridge. Let's drop a payload on his head. Here we go, here we go. Vehicle hit. Times two for a total of 35 damage. We're not in the right... We haven't got the right equipment to take out a tank, man. It's going to take three passes. <laughs> I say that it's going to take three passes, but he's going to repair in the hour-long breaks that I have in between passes. Anyway, guys, that was some gameplay of the Spitfire on Twisted Steel. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. What do you guys think of RTX? Did you notice in the water and everything, the reflections, the fire and everything, how much better it was? Let me know in the comments what you thought, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.